Hello, I thought I'd make a quick vlog. And before I get into anything, I just want to say shame on you. I don't know who is responsible for the Paris, uh, for the pa Paris Olympic openings, Olympics opening ceremony, but shame on you. And shame on you who took part in mocking Jesus. You have her being, you have him being played by an overweight, I don't know if that was a woman or a man in drag. But someone, I, you know, I didn't watch the whole thing. I saw bits and pieces of it because I don't want, and I could go back and watch the whole ceremony, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I can't believe that this is where the world has come. And France, I really, Paris, Paris, I always thought Paris was more sophisticated, more, um, I don't know, but it's kind of lost all of its mystique now, because if they're going to put something like that out for the Olympics and for the entire world to watch, then it has lost its mystique. This is one of Marissa's men. Paris is supposed to be very, con very conservative, very, 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 very romantic. It's a privilege. It used to be a privilege to be in Paris and to live there. And now they made a mockery of everything. This is not the Paris that it used to be. Shame on you, Paris. <clears throat> anyway, so, yeah. The thing is that they, it's been my experience that the um, transgender, transvestite, transgender community becomes up in arms because they've gotten in my face quite a few times if you say anything about them, their lifestyle, or why they are transgender. They get up in arms. And yet they have the gall to sit there and mock Jesus, the Last Supper, and Christianity as a whole. You know? So, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say other than shame on you. Shame on you. You know? And if you hate Jesus that much, then, you know. I don't know how you got that on international TV. I really don't. I don't. But I'm not watching the Olympics. I usually watch the gymnastics and the swimming. I like uh, male and female gymnastics. I think the male gymnastics are so awesome. I think the female gymnastics are awesome. Ice skating, but that's in the winter. Um, what else do I normally watch? Well, I, I normally watch, I catch parts of it. So, but now I'm not watching any of it. I refuse. How dare you? How dare you? That a, as a group, you would be so offended by someone saying that what's going on with you is a curse. That you would get in my face and you just get in everyone's face. But then you have the nerve to get on the world stage and mock Jesus. This is one of Mercer's men. It's true. 
the, the, uh, the transgender and transvestite community are very hypersensitive. They want no one to question them or say a word about their lifestyles. And they want to be accepted. And yet they do something like this. You know, I don't want to generalize and lump them all together because I do have compassion and I do have empathy, you know, but if you're going to mock Jesus, I mean, openly mock him, then you're not going to have my support. I don't support those who openly mock Jesus. So, you know, I feel for you. What you're going through is a, is a curse, but you don't have to lash out at Christianity. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for those of you who did this in France and who had any part of it, any part of it. Once again, you are taken away from Christianity and making a mockery of it. And not only that, but you're making a mockery of women. Because I don't think a real woman would get on the stage and mock the Last Supper. Not a real woman. You may find people, you may find women who want to make fun and just do things like that because they're into devil worship, but a real woman wouldn't touch that kind of stuff. You're not women. You're not women. And yet you dress up like a... A caricature of women. You degrade women by doing these things. And I'm offended as a woman and as a Catholic. I'm offended. How dare you? How dare you? All right, and on that note, I'm going to end this vlog. I was going to continue on, on different topics, but I can't. I'm very angry. I'm, on that note, I'm ending this vlog, and I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow, and things go your way. All right, bye.